Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Tech Eddie Show. I'm your host, Eddie Ray, where we do tips, tricks, and tutorial videos for live streamers, gamers, and content creators. In today's episode, we're going to give you an overview of XSplit Gamecaster and show you how to easily set up your live streams. Stay tuned. Those of you who are new to XSplit products or maybe live streaming in general, XSplit Gamecaster is a really great solution to get started with. It's streamlined and you can have your recordings and streams set up within a matter of minutes. So let's get started. All right, so I guess first things first, if you don't have XSplit Gamecaster downloaded on your PC, go to XSplit.com, go down to XSplit Gamecaster here and download this. If you're purchasing any of the XSplit products here, like the virtual cam or broadcast or anything else, let me know. Make sure you use the code TECHEDDY, all one word, for 10% off your purchase. Also include a link down below in the description. Once Gamecaster installs, go ahead and boot it up. So once you boot up Gamecaster, the first thing it will ask you is to log into your service provider for live streaming. So if you're gonna be streaming on YouTube, you can do that, Twitch, Facebook Live, There's other ones down here as well. You can choose your choice here for live streaming services, then click open, enter your login details, name, password, and authenticate for Gamecaster for now. We'll just click skip. All right, so here is XSplit Gamecast. This is kind of the starting screen here, the home screen for the program. What's cool about Gamecaster is uh, it kind of runs almost in the background in a sense once you get it started with. So if you're running uh, and streaming PC games, you can open your PC game up and then you can click on control tab for the hotkey and that will give you the Gamecaster overlay on top of your game from which you can kind of change things for the layout of the stream, you can record, you can go live, you can choose your microphone and webcams and kind of set up your layout that way. And of course, if you stream from uh, video game consoles, you can also, of course, capture them through your game capture device and then use Gamecaster still that way too by using the console viewer down here. If you need any more help with Gamecaster, there are guides and tutorials here, of course, down the lower right. These are very helpful for kind of fine tuning any kind of information you need to know about Gamecaster or particular settings and options. So for me, when I'm streaming my video games, I mostly stream from consoles from a Nintendo Switch. So I'll be opening my console viewer here using the Elgato Game Capture. So again, if you have your Game Capture device, that will be recognized here if you have one set up and plugged in. We'll open this up here a little bit later on, but I kind of want to go through the other menu and options here as well, giving you a general overview of what's available in Gamecaster to see if it's right for you. So the next tab here, we have Accounts. So these will be your streaming accounts here that we set up earlier. So whatever you have authorized for streaming, I usually do YouTube, so that will be here. But if you have Mixer, Twitch, or any of the others, they'll all be listed here. And of course, you can choose to log into a handful of them and choose which one you want to stream from, depending upon what you're streaming that day and where you want to stream to that day as well. If you want to also record videos and have them shared to YouTube almost automatically, uh, this is a good way of doing it here through the video sharing. Uh, you can authorize Gamecaster here to upload the videos onto YouTube. So it kind of saves you a step then. So when you're recording, you're done recording, and then you can have that video shared directly to YouTube, and that way you can get it ready for posting onto your channel. You also have some social network settings here. We have Twitter and Player.me. You can authorize Gamecaster here for Twitter and Player.me as well. That way you can post uh, pretty much with one click of a button to those social accounts, letting your fans know that you're actually streaming at a particular date and time. And that is the Accounts tab. Next, we have the all important settings tab, and this will be kind of the main hub of everything here. As you can kind of see me on webcam right now, it's going through my uh, USB cam on my, uh, on my laptop. Hello, everybody. So first at the top here, we have game capture stream settings. You can do automatic, and this will be based upon your PC specs, whatever they are. It will kind of customize that based on your hardware. Or of course, you can click on custom here and then kind of customize it uh, by the resolution. You can go 1080p 
or even higher than that, or down to 720p or less than that, down to 480, 360, even 240p is really a low resolution. But you can do that if you want to. So you can adjust all the resolutions here. And then also your encoder, X264, NVIDIA, depending upon what your graphic settings are here. And your frame rate, so either 30 or 60 FPS. And whether it's streamed uh, by encoding either adaptive or constant, usually I would recommend having a constant bitrate. Adaptive can sometimes cause spikes and a little bit of buffering in your streams, I've saw. So depending upon your hardware setup, I would recommend keeping on automatic and constant. So again, we have the server, resolution, codecs, frame rate choices, bit rates as well, stream delay, saving to hard disk here, splitting files, and multi-track recording too. And any of these you need to have information about, or if you're not quite sure what they are, hover over the little indicator icon here for information, and it will tell you what it is. I would recommend initially keeping the main defaults as they are, and then maybe if you see some problems when you're streaming, you can come back into here and adjust these for your next stream, but I would recommend probably keeping them on automatic and going from there, especially to start out with for the very first time. So the main things to look out here, of course, for your stream mostly are the resolution, your codec, frame rate, and bitrate. Those are the most important things when it comes to live streams and having a successful and smooth streaming experience, not just for you, but also your viewers, of course, too. All right, so that kind of covers the stream settings from automatic or custom. Again, you can customize almost anything you want here. Let's have recording settings, too. So if you're just recording videos instead of streaming, you can also set those settings up here. You can set up the output resolution for your streams or your recordings from 360p all the way up here to the original resolution or 1440p for me. Codec, frame rate, quality as well, all can be adjusted here for your recordings of video games. So don't just think of Gamecaster as a streaming service. It also uh, is a really good software for recording and gameplay and uploading to YouTube or wherever you want. And as far as capturing screenshots, you can choose JPEG or bitmap here. It's all on default JPEG here. I probably would recommend keeping it that way, but it's up to you if you want to change that or not. All right, some of the other options here we have here are including overlay elements and screenshot capture. Uh, if you uncheck this, when you screenshot, it will just be of the game itself and nothing else, which is kind of cool. A lot of people actually prefer that, but if you want to have your overlay elements included, you can click this, and that will include whatever elements you have on top of the gameplay, such as your stream, maybe uh, FPS, frame rate, um, other kind of logos and things like that. You can also show mouse cursor or not, allow game switching. You can actually switch your games as you're streaming, and that will kind of uh, make the software change with you. As it says here, enabling this option will allow you to switch game on the fly during a stream or recording. Any game which has focus will be regarded as the active game to record or stream. So kind of a cool feature there. And then we have some other kind of settings here for outputs and uh, DirectX 12 game capture. All right, so after we move on from all of the, like, the video settings, we also have uh, your microphone settings. You can choose the devices here from default or any microphone you may have set up on your system here. I have quite a few, but it's really up to you what you have on your system to choose a microphone for that. Then, of course, your webcam here. Again, we're going through my laptop cam here, which is kind of uh, crappy quality. So I usually use my Brio, so I can click that here and find Brio. But again, choose your webcam. Have that set up properly as well. And there we are. We're going to set up with my Brio. Hello, everybody. Cool. Looks a little more clear and crisp rather than the laptop built in webcam. All right, moving down to in game overlay here. So this is what's going to be overlaid on top of the game itself. So keep in mind the game and then having things layered on top like logos, your webcam and such. You can enable B-Ray Mac graphics if you want by clicking this. If you don't, you won't have a choice, of course. You can allow audio and be right back mode as well. I would probably recommend keeping that off unless you want to be heard when you're taking a break or something like that. All right. You can also display usernames for Facebook, Twitter, and player.me if you want to here. And then we have a status bar. You can have the game frame rate shown if you want, the CPU load, and also the running time of the streamer recording shown on the stream as well. And you can kind of configure these where you want. 
on how you want them to show up on the stream or the recording and what areas of your screen here by clicking different quadrants from the lower left, the middle, down below, up top in the middle, upper right, lower right and upper left and so forth. So pretty cool feature there to kind of have your overlay customized to how you want it. All right, so application settings, these are just settings for languages and things like that. Uh, and then we have hotkeys as well. If you want to use hotkeys for starting and stopping recordings or streams, uh, push to talk for commentary, everything can be set up here through hotkeys. As you see here, we have streaming, recording, um, screenshot capturing as well, which is a really good one to actually do. So right now it's set up through print screen which is a pretty good hotkey for that but again you can customize all the hotkeys here uh, microphone muting system audio muting push to talk be right back graphics showing and hiding your camera so keep in mind all of these here can be hotkeyed making it easier for you to run your stream much much more easier in a very streamlined way then over here below our webcam we also have uh audio here for the mic you can kind of adjust the microphone levels here and your system sound for your game level audios so i usually recommend having the game audio down to about a third and microphone up about three quarters of the way that's usually the best ratio for me but you also have to kind of test it out first so do a recording or so and test your audio and the gameplay capture and see how those two mix together you don't want the game overpowering your voice that's very very important so what's cool through Gamecaster is you can actually chroma key out even with Gamecaster itself. If you, have, if you have a green screen set up behind you or a solid wall that's a solid color, you can kind of use that too as well. Uh, so right here is chroma key. We click on this and you can adjust the threshold and keying of the color here as well for green screen making it kind of cool to overlay your webcam with a green screen. But if you don't have one, just click on original and you'll be fine like that. So kind of a cool feature there built into Exploit Gamecaster. All right, and we'll move over to the screenshot tab now. Now there's so much here that Exploit Gamecaster offers. I kind of wanted to just give you an overview of everything today. And then maybe in the future, I'll do some other videos of Gamecaster and break down certain elements within it. But for today, just a general overview showing you all the options that it does offer to you. All right, so screenshots. When you grab screenshots of your gameplay or overlays, they will show up here. Uh, listed in order from when they were taken for my date type and size so you can kind of show those here and look at them here and then recordings so when done recording a video or your gameplay they will show up in the recording section as well again listed by date type length and size as well so that's a general overview of exploit gamecaster again um, i would recommend going with the automatic default settings it gives you when you first log in uh, that way it kind of knows what specs your pc has also it kind of knows what your bitrate is through connecting to the internet as well uh, if you do configure anything as far as bitrate or encoding goes uh, just kind of test it out first before you go to a full live stream for your viewers so here we are in XSplit Gamecaster, and I actually have Microsoft Solitaire Collection opened up. Now you can record or stream from any kind of a PC game or application like this, or even like an FPS game, whatever PC games you have, you can use XSplit Gamecaster for. And of course, you have the console viewer too, so if you have a capture card, like an Elgato, you can record or stream, of course, then Xbox, PlayStation, or Nintendo Switch too, if you wanted to, or any consoles for that matter. Okay, so there may be some lag here or some flickering going on. It's due to the fact I'm actually capturing this with a screen capture software, which is not playing too nicely with the GameCaster right now, so keep that in mind. But with your overlay, we have the webcam here kind of in the left quadrant of the overlay. We can move this or crop it or size it if we wanted to. We can move the webcam up to the upper right or to the center, wherever you want for your game. And of course, it depends upon what game you're playing, where you want to move the webcam to. We have an XSplit Gamecaster logo here as well. This can be replaced or totally removed. You can put your own logo there if you want to, and then kind of resize and also put that wherever you want to on screen for your overlay. We're going to push Control and Tab for our overlay settings here then. So you see here, we can kind of left click and then drag our webcam and make it smaller if we want to. So there we go, we're really small right now. We can also move our Gamecaster logo here, resize that, just like this. 
We can also click the X here if we want to and get rid of that. Or also, again, we can replace this file here or just add in a new file. There you go. Hover over this. It says replace image overlay. Pretty easy. You can also keep the aspect ratio of this image by clicking this. We'll get rid of this Gamecaster logo for now. And there you go. Boom. Pretty easy. We can move our webcam over to the upper right if we have to for the sake of the tutorial or your game. And there you go. So again, it really depends upon what game you're playing and where you want to position your webcam because you may be covering up some important stats or information in the game if your webcam's in a certain spot. So do keep that in mind and what games you're playing. Make it a bit bigger, maybe like this. So you can make it as big as you want. Pretty easy, just dragging uh, in or out to make it bigger or smaller. And again, left clicking and dragging to replace it wherever you want to on your overlay. It's as easy as that. Up here we have our stream button to stream to any of our outputs we have set up for, of course, Mixer, Twitch, YouTube, one click button there. And also a one click button for recording too to our hard drive for any kind of recording gameplay we want to do. The microphone icon, of course, is to mute our microphone or also raise or lower the audio of the microphone there. The speaker icon is for the system sound to raise and lower that or also mute it if we want. By clicking here, we can click our webcam off or on pretty simply. This here is to select YouTube Live feature to open and modify the settings for that. And of course, sharing here as well to share to Twitter and Facebook and the like. This will add images or URL widgets for your overlay. So you can add in your team logo and stream alerts through this setting here. And then of course this here, this is kind of like the XSplit Broadcaster whiteboard setting. This is used, uh, of course, to draw on your gameplay. It says use your mouse to draw on gameplay. Pretty simple. As you see here, we kind of draw on our gameplay just as easily like this. We can circle certain things or highlight certain things on the stream or the game and just draw anywhere we want to. Pretty cool. We'll push escape to get back out of that. And go back into our stream overlay here with control tab. And yeah, so that's pretty much all the settings here. And of course you can view and share your screenshots of the game session as well through the little folder icon here. Then there's a little help button here, and going back to the game, just clicking on this, and we're back into gameplay now, ready to go. So there you go, that's pretty much the overview of Exploit Gamecaster, showing you all of the functionality and overlays you can do with your webcam, drawing on the gameplay, uh, adding in alerts and images and logos and that kind of thing too. Experiment and set up your own overlays for your games, recordings, and live streams, and have lots of fun. So there you have it, XSplit Gamecaster, a very powerful but easy step-by-step -step solution to record and live stream your video games. We'll probably break this software down a little bit more in some more tutorial videos in the future, but for now, hopefully this overview has helped you out. Hit that like button for us and subscribe. I'm Eddie Ray for the Tech Eddie Show. We'll see you back here next time.